Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this abstract, never-ending hallway. Start by making a new composition, then create a new shape layer. Within this layer, make your art using shapes as it would appear on a 2D plane. At the top here, you can adjust fill color, stroke color, and stroke size. Now, click this button here to make it a 3D object. Then, under Transform, change the Y rotation to negative 90 degrees. After that, move the position of the entire object to the left. Under Contents, you're going to click Add Repeater. Open those options up, then open Transform Repeater. You're going to adjust the position so that the repetitions start where the original ends. Then, change copies to 10, so it'll continue off into the distance. From there, you're going to copy and paste the entire shape layer you've created. Then under Transform of Layer 2, you're going to change the position to the other side of the screen. For the next step, I find it's easier if you hide the work you've already done. To make the ceiling, first create the art the same way as before. I'm just doing circles. Make it a 3D shape, then under Transform, change the X rotation to 90 degrees, Y rotation to 180 degrees, and Z rotation to 90 degrees. Then move the position up to the top. Then under Contents, add Repeater. As before, change copies to 10, and adjust the position so that the circles are spread out. Hide that layer, and then we will create the floor the exact same way. You want all the objects to be in the same layer, and so if you accidentally made them in two different layers, as I did here, simply select the objects in one layer, Command X to cut them, and selecting the other layer, Command V to paste it. Then you can delete the unused layer so you don't get confused. Now as before, make sure the object layer is 3D, then open the transform options, change the X rotation to negative 90, leave the Y at 0, and change the Z to negative 90 as well. Then, as you lower the position, add the repeater, increase the number of copies, and set the position. I made slight adjustments to make sure everything looked perfect, and then now, we're ready to add the camera movement. Add a new camera layer, open the transform options, and then click the keyframe stopwatch. Set your display to two views so you can see the overhead camera movement. Move the time indicator ahead 16 seconds, and then select the z-axis and drag it forward through the tunnel. And that's it! The tunnel is complete! Using this method, you can also do things like this, and this. Hopefully this tutorial helps you out. 